everybody, I'm Mitch. And I'm Kat. And we're coming to you from Spring Arbor University Physical Therapy. Today, we are going to talk about something that's really important. What is that? That would be, that's great that you asked me. That's, we're gonna talk about something called the core. And everybody talks about I the core. I know what that is. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, that's I, every, your abs. Oh yeah, I'm gonna work your abs. Nope, yeah. that's not what we're talking about. That's not the core that we need to talk about today. Mm. So there's actually an inner core and an outer core. So we're gonna talk about this inner core thing today. It's, and the muscles that are involved with the inner core. And we're going to show you how to control those, use those, and why they're important. So that's the, that's the point of this video today. So the inner core muscles are comprised really of, we'll say, four different muscles. At the top of the core is the diaphragm. And everybody knows the diaphragm, you use that to breathe. So if you want to do a diaphragmatic breath, you just put your, take a deep breath and your belly goes up. And then it goes in, and then you know you're working your diaphragm. Okay? Then there's another muscle called the transverse abdominis muscle, which is right here in the front. Um, it's right underneath that six pack, that yeah. six pack you have right there. Sure. It's underneath it. Um, and, the, and the fibers run this way, which are a little bit different than the six pack, which runs this way. Okay, so they're just different type of um, alignment of the tissues of the fibers. And the reason for that is because when they contract, they contract differently than the six pack, your rectus abdominis muscle. So when you pull the transversus, it actually pulls your belly button in. And I like to call it the skinny jean muscle. So when you pull your belly button in, normally when I'm trying to put some of my skinny jeans on, which I don't really have skinny <laughs> jeans, but I've, I've heard of people that have done this, that they pull their belly button on to get their skinny jeans on. And that is actually the transversus abdominis that they're activating. So we talked number one muscle, the um, diaphragm, number two muscle, the transverse abdominis. There's a number three muscle, which is comprised of multiple muscles. We're going to group them together called the pelvic floor. It's, it's the bottom part of the pelvis. Um, and then our muscle at the, in the backside we're going to talk about is called the multipedi. So those are the four muscles that make up the inner core. Most of you haven't heard about those muscles because you don't really see those muscles when you're doing all your fancy poses. You know, you're doing your poses for in front of the mirror and stuff after you get out of the bath and you just don't see those muscles. So they're not talked about, but they are super important. So um, the transversus, I do want to talk about how they can kind of work together. So when you pull your transversus abdominis muscle in, what it does is this muscle wraps all the way around to the back side of your body and it hooks into something called the lumbo dorsal fascia. So we're going to show a couple pictures of that right now. Okay, that was a picture of the transverse abdominis and also the lumbo dorsal fascia. So like, like I said, this muscle wraps all the way around and when you pull your belly button in, it actually pulls the lumbo dorsal fascia in a horizontal direction and it tightens it up in that direction, which is very important because that helps stabilize the spine, the lumbar spine. Um, so, but also when you pull this belly in, um, your it also reflexly contracts the bottom of your, or your pelvic floor. So you pull this in and your pelvic floor will contract at the same time. Why is this important? Because the pelvic floor, when it contracts, it pulls your tailbone down and then it also pulls on that lumbo dorsal fascia. So we're just gonna give you a quick shot of what the pelvic floor looks like. Okay, that was the pelvic floor muscles and when they contract, they, have a they contract up like this, okay? So we've got top muscles and we've got bottom muscles and we've got front muscles and then these little muscles in the back called the multipedi, which we're gonna take one second and show you a picture of those muscles. Okay, so those are the muscles of the inner core and there's a nice analogy that you have about a pop can. Why don't you explain that pop can? So I look at the, the inner core as like a pop can in that the top of the pop can um, before like a pre, like one that hasn't been opened, um, you can stand in that pop can, you can take a lot of pressure, you can take a lot of force when all of the components are working together. So I think of the top of the pop can as your diaphragm, the bottom of the pop can as your pelvic floor, and the sides are your transverse abdominis and your multipedi. And so when they all work together, um, they keep that pressurized um, center, and it can stand a lot of force, and it can, you know, you can do just about anything with it. But as soon as, say, your diaphragm doesn't work, or your transverse abdominis doesn't fire, then it's like you're poking a hole in one of the sides of that pop can, and then it just crushes and it fails, and it causes other muscles to um, work in their place, and that's how you get those back pain, yeah. um, and like dysfunctional movements and things like that, um, that can you know, really cause other issues. Yeah. I love the pop can. The pop can's a great way to visualize this. I also talk about it as God's weightlifting belt. So that muscle that I just showed you, we showed you just a couple slides ago, um, was the transverse abdominis, and it wraps around and it hooks to this lumbar dorsal fascia. I like to think of this as a big weightlifting belt too. So just by simply pulling my belly button in, it activates this weightlifting belt, which I call 
God's weightlifting belt. So if you see bodybuilders or see weightlifters in, in the gym, they have these big, cinched down. Yeah, yeah, cinched down big belts. And what they're trying to do is increase intra-abdominal pressure, which actually works to help a little back pain and it helps the disc in the back. But we have our own built-in one, God's weightlifting belt, which is that transversus abdominis and all that inner, all those inner core muscles. So I'm gonna turn, so Kat's gonna now teach me how to use these muscles and how um, we're going to work God's weightlifting belt. So teach me. So if you came in and you were a patient of mine and yes. I thought we need to work on inner core, okay. then we're gonna start um, by practicing on pulling our belly button in. Okay. So we just went through this elaborate description of what our inner core is, but really it's a simple exercise to activate it. So relax for just a moment. Okay. So in order to activate that transverse abdominis, okay. all I need you to do is just pull your belly button towards your back. <gasps> and relax. Now see, your first reaction was probably to, to hold your breath, yeah. but really, it's actually a small um, kind of movement of just the belly button coming in. You should almost feel those muscles like right below your belly button in between your hips kind of tighten. Okay. Um, but what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't bend forward and you shouldn't feel your back kind of go flat and you mm -hmm. certainly shouldn't lose your breath. Right. So it's a very simple exercise, just pulling the belly button in. It's a very small movement. Okay. Like or, so. or it could be a big movement like this to this, so, right. so but <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, yep, so you just tighten up that belly button. Pull it in. And then you hold and you practice breathing. Yep. So first things first, you gotta be comfortable breathing. And so yep. a good place to start is even when you're driving, um, say you're at a stoplight, practice holding um, your transverse abdominis for the duration of that stoplight. Um, or like sitting on the couch. Once that becomes really easy, then try holding your transverse abdominis, say when you're walking from one place to another. So in your office building, around your house, things like that. And then finally, we really get to use the transverse abdominis for its intended purpose to help us lift, move, things like that. Right. So say you need to pick a heavy object up off the floor. I want you to square up to that object. I want you to stand with feet shoulder width apart. I'm ready. Okay, now first thing I want you to do is activate your transverse abdominis. So pull that belly button in. Is it pulled in? Does it look good? Yes, good okay, job. Good, yeah. Well done. Okay. And so keeping that transverse abdominis tight, I want you to bend at the waist and the hips, or the hips and the knees, and go down. Pick up your object, now lift with your knees and not your back, keeping that core tight all the way through. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Same idea if you were to try and move an object from one countertop to another, always tighten beforehand, all the way through. Perfect. Yeah, so when uh, a lot of people, when they go to squat, they'll go down here and they kind of let their belly just hang out and everything just, they let it all go, which then creates a lot of um, instability in the back. It creates a lot more work for the, exterior core. So by pulling your belly in and by going into this position, everything is kept nice and stable. Yeah, it's nice and tight and stable. So that's one of the things we want to make sure. And even rolling over in bed if you have back pain, um, like we said, twisting and moving objects from side to side, pull your belly button in. Most exercises that are kind of in weird positions or just cleaning around the house or something, if you get into a weird position, something like that, you can always be safe by pulling your belly button in and then doing the activity. So yeah. Okay. So that is how we go about activating our transverse abdominis yeah. um, and a daily application in life. Yeah, and I like to do about, I tell my patients 200 a day and they all go, what? 200 That's a day? Too many. That's way too many. And actually, I can drive from, from the clinic here to my house and I can get 100 done easily. So you can really whip these off quick and it's not that hard to get 200 in. And I tell you what, it is a great workout. Like when Kat was just teaching me how to do it, I was keeping it pulled in and I was like 15 seconds into it and my muscles are already quivering because I was working so hard. So, um, so it's not that hard to do it and it's really beneficial. God's weightlifting belt, pop can. I think those are all great visuals of what you should do and why you should do it, so. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video.